Russian troops are attacking residential areas in Kharkiv. After the occupiers failed to take over the city, they decided to level it with the ground. Russian military forces fired at Kharkiv using jet artillery. After the cannonade, the residents of the city post videos of the streets and their apartments on social media. They show ruins, missiles that didn't explode and got stuck in the roads or apartments. Minimum 11 civilians were killed. Chernihiv is in flames. After Russian occupiers massively attacked Chernihiv, the city is fighting numerous burning cars, residential buildings and shopping malls. Russian occupiers' target was the historical area in the city, where the city council and the region council are situated. Instead, they hit a children's clinic, residential building and a library. The cinema in the heart of the city is burned down. It was a historical building which we will never be able to reconstruct. Ukrainian cities do not greet Russians. Berdyansk was occupied in the morning of the 28th of February and people immediately gathered at the walls of the region council where the enemy is now located. People are singing anthem and asking the occupiers to get out, saying that it's their home and they didn't invite anyone there. <laughs> Russian occupation forces destroyed the local history museum in the village of Ivankiv, Kyiv region. The museum exhibited and stored unique paintings of the famous Ukrainian artist Maria Primachenko. She created world-known paintings of magical creatures. Fortunately, the residents predicted the threat and concealed the canvas in their homes. Medics in Mariupol save lives in extreme conditions. The city is situated next to the former area where the joint forces operation was held. So now both Russian occupiers and terrorists are bombarding Mariupol. Not only the doctors have to save lives of the wounded militaries, but also the civilians and particularly children. Occupiers have no mercy.